All right, so we're doing two things here. We're recording on my phone and on the computer so that you can see how we make a trade from. So I've got my phone open. I've got my computer open. So now on my phone, I'm going to my wallet. So on my phone here, I'm going inside my wallet. I'm going to my trust wallet. Okay. And then here I'm in gate IO. So now let's go down to deposit. And in my trust wallet, I'm depositing VET, the VET. Okay. On my trust wallet, it says the VChain. So I'm clicking VChain. On my phone, I'm clicking VChain. I see a code. And I'm going to do send. And on my phone, it gives me an option to paste. It's giving me a little, a little code there. Put it in there. The amount I want to send, I'll put $1,000. Hit done. Click next. I'm confirming on my phone. It's saying it's transferring. Okay. On my phone, it's still saying transfer. It's yellow. Still yellow. Okay. Now it says transfer. All right, now I just did this a moment ago because I actually, what happens is I looked in, I've got 2000 V chain in this account. And then I had in my other Exodus, I had uh, another, I already had 2400. So I had like 7,000 worth of V chain. So I downgraded to just 4,500 worth of V chain because I want to buy some other tokens. So now in trust, I've got 2000 in trust and I've got another. So I've got almost 5,000 VeChain. So I think that's enough. So buy some other tokens. Now, I had just done this before I jumped on the call. So you can see here, this one says pending. All right. So I just done this one. So let's refresh. Let's go back over here. So my phone, I'm done on my phone. Hit stop broadcasting. My wallet, go to my spot account. Okay. I got my looks that I just bought. Still waiting on the V chain to be deposited. I always tell people it takes about eight minutes because again, this thing is like, this is the like dial up type days. So it takes a little minute. So I'm going to pause recording, wait for my V chain to get into my account. And then we're going to trade the V chain for a currency so we can buy another token that we want to buy. So we'll pause and we'll come back to it. All right, let's check to see if our money is in the account. Still no. Still not here. So we're still waiting for our vet to get there. I told you this takes a minute. So we're going to come back. So if we look here on my history, I mean, it's some time. It's it's been like twenty minutes have gone by, but you can see here, it says pending. So this one says ten twenty four or ten thirty. So it's still pending. Um, so sometimes this takes a little hot minute. So don't get impatient and think your money's stolen or your money's gone and none of that crazy is. It's here. It's just pending mode. So it says confirmation ninety four to two hundred, confirmation eighty out of two hundred. So we. We're going to hold tight and then see what happens. See right here. So we're going to hold tight and see what happens. And um, on that. So, all right, let's see what happens. But again, what we want to do is the idea is we're going to let's go back to trade. I want to buy some. This baby Doge, we're going to throw some money in that. And we're going to buy my man RNDR. Is it on here? I got it saved. Because I sold it to buy my, um, I sold it to buy, um, oh, I sold it to buy some NFTs earlier. So we're going to go ahead and buy some RNDR. That's what USDT. Okay. And then. 
Let's go back. And then Baby Doge is buying with, uh, let's see. That one's a USDT. So we're going to have to trade for USDT to get that to buy both of those coins. No problem. So once we get our VET, we'll trade VET for USDT right here. Boom. Swap them. We'll sell our VET over here. We'll sell our VET. And then we'll get USDT. Then we'll take out USDT and we'll trade it and buy the other coins. Just like that. So until our VET's in our system, we can't do jack. So we're just going to hold it tight. Going back to pause. So the good thing is actually while I was talking, this went up. So now we're at a 148 and 120 respectively here. See? So now we're at 148 and 120. So let's keep hope alive, baby. Keep hope alive. All right. So one of them is done. It says done. Confirmation is 201 out of 200. This one is still 173. So now we should be able to go into our wallet, into our spot account, and bang! There it is. VET chain is here. All right. Now let's go ahead and trade it for USDT. So we're going to go back, markets, spot trading standard. We're going to go here and we're going to trade. Hold on, what do we have? No, oh, we got VET, sorry. We go to VET, USDT, right? And then we're going to go sell my VET. Now we can go down one price, amount of VET to 100%. Hit sell VET, confirm order, and put my password. Submit and order filled. Perfect. So we sold our VET. Now we've got USDT. Now, again, uh, we want to buy render. All right. So we're going to buy this render token. So I click render. It's already under my favorites list. So I'm going to do that. My balance. You go here, hit plus 1%. You don't have to do plus. I do it. Hit buy render. Confirm order. Let's see. Submit and order field. So now I sold my vet. Or USDT, I take my USDT and I bought RNDR. And so now you'll see my wallet, funds overview. We'll go into my spot account and I've got my RNDR here and I've got my looks. So I'm good. Um, what we'll do is now, if we want, we can send this back. We can transfer all of this stuff to MetaMask because we don't want to keep it on exchange. We want to keep it in our own private wallet. And I figure out how to share my screen for MetaMask. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to my MetaMask. I'm going to actually expand the view. So now you see my MetaMask on the screen here. Perfect. Copy clipboard. And we're going to go back over here. Let's go to my account. Close all this other stuff out. Okay. All right. So let's go in and let's do render. We're going to withdraw. Render. All right. It's going on an Ethereum chain where we're sending it to this address here. All right. This is my MetaMask. The amount. I got 274. Now we're probably not going to be able to send 274 because of the fees, but I'm going to start with 274. And this is where gate's a little bit tricky because you got to get all three of these things right. You got to know your fun password, which is easy. But then you got to do this email code and you got to do Google Authenticator. So now we're going to hit send email code, right? We're going to have a limited time to get this code. There's my code 554244. And we got to go to our Google Authenticator app. Make sure you're picking the right. This is actually not Google. This is just a regular authenticator. And this one lap. So make sure you do it in time. And you hit submit request. And if all three things are right, you'll get 
a confirmation that comes up. Perfect. You're going to hit confirm in three, two, one. We confirm. You have to slide it over. Put the little square in the box. We did it. And it will start sending. Request has been submitted. Perfect. Okay. We can go back to our wallet, spot account. So we've got our, we've sent that. So now that's gone. I guess the fees weren't too high. All right. Now, if we want to do the same thing with looks, we can do the same thing. Let's take withdraw. It's on Ethereum blockchain. Let's go back over here. And I like to, uh, okay, so we've got our MetaMask. Okay. It says trust the address. So let's go ahead and add. Trust the address. We'll add. this submit see now again you gotta go through all the coding stuff so that's why sometimes i don't even it's like i'm not gonna be sending this often so i'm not even gonna set this up i'm gonna go back and just send it because i don't have i just don't feel like doing it Got 280 looks. No, I'm not going to send the looks because it says I can stake my looks. I'll send it just to show you guys. In process, delete that, hit send email code, pull it up. Oh, it says, so my email says the withdrawal request has been submitted. Here's my new code, 23000. 33. Okay, go to my authenticator, and it's time to wind down on that. Make sure that you hit submit request before your authenticator runs out. If it runs out, it'll reject it, and you can't do it. So, mine's did it. Confirm in two seconds. Hit confirm. Slide to the right. Boom. It's over with. All right. Done deal. So we sent our looks and we sent our RNDR over to MetaMask. Okay. So go to our funds. We got 900 bucks. All right. And let's go to our MetaMask here. Okay. It hasn't made it yet. Oh, RNDR is here. Boom. So we've got our, our RNDR is there. And we just got to wait for the, what was the other one we sent? Looks to show up. Sometimes um, what's interesting is that um, I've had this happen before to me. Is here, you don't see your tokens. So like sometimes you have to go on different networks here. Like, for example, I have Phantom token here. It's on the Phantom network. Okay. So they have different networks here that you have to add. And again, there's tutorials and all this kind of stuff. Um, so occasionally, uh, you just have to make sure that the token that you're sending is on this, the right network for you to be able to do it. Because otherwise, it won't show up. So um, there are some videos on doing that. Um but because I was on this site and it says I could put looks rare inside of MetaMask, so I, it should show up here. But we just have to wait for the transfer like everything else. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. We'll be trading some more soon.